Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. So today we're looking at the Fujifilm 90mm f2. You probably heard a lot of good things about this lens and I have to admit they're all true. This lens weighs about 500 grams and that's because there is a lot of glass in there. The handling of this lens is overall good. Um, I have to say with the Fujifilm X-T3 it still feels very solid but for me, with the X-H1, it feels a little bit better because with the X-H1 you have a better grip and therefore you have a better handling because it isn't the smallest lens. The aperturing is very good to handle and it clicks very nicely. And also this lens is wider sealed, which is amazing because on the first test tube we did today it started raining and it's always a good feeling when you know that your equipment is not going to get wrecked on your first shoot. The autofocus performance is just unreal. In comparison to the 56mm 1.2, which is one of the worst Fuji lenses in terms of autofocusing, the 90mm just blows it away. In combination with the X-T3, it's just wow. Today I tested it with face and eye detection and it worked great. So it was really nice to work with and I'm very pleased with the results we got today. But today we also tried some walking shots. Um, the results were overall pretty good, but it's very hard because you have with F2 a very shallow depth of field. And if your model's walking too fast, your camera will have a very hard time to get everything sharp and focused. So I also haven't tried every AFC setting with the camera, so I'm pretty sure there are even better ways to get better results and if you have a better recommendation for a moving subject um, please let me know in the comment section below. The image quality of this lens is just wow. It's sharp from the center to the corners and that's great. It's like in comparison to my beloved 56mm it's like the 56mm is sharp in the center but it gets very soft at the corners which really pisses me off and with the 90mm it's like sharp in the middle and sharp on the corner, it's almost, almost too sharp. And also the bokeh is beautiful. You have like, when you take a photo of your subject, it just so beautifully separates from the background. The bokeh is very creamy and very soft and it's just very beautiful. So with this lens you get very close to um, like a very beautiful full frame bokeh and it's really fun to work with. This lens will seamlessly fit into my portrait workflow and it will be a very nice addition to my beloved 56mm. I'm also looking forward to use this lens for more for sports photography, lifestyle photography, event photography, which also includes wedding photography. So as a conclusion you could say this lens is very fast, has beautiful bokeh, has superb image quality, is well built and focuses very fast. If you're in the portrait game, you can't pass this lens because the subject separation from the background is just magnificent. If you like what you've seen, subscribe to my channel and if you have any question about this lens or my setup, leave a comment in the comment section below. Thank you!